Hi everyone, I am going to show you how to set up your make the cut so that it cuts to the silhouette cutter. Now before you even start on your project, make sure that the driver is added to the list of printers. I have already installed Silhouette Studio and I thought that by doing so, the driver would be automatically um, added. But I, it, it didn't happen for me, maybe it would happen for you. But um, in case you do not find this, the graph text CC330L, when you click on file and then print, if you don't find this, then you might have to manually install the driver. Let me show you how. I am using Windows 7, so I will click on the Windows button and select devices and printers. And right at the top where it says add a printer, I click on that. And I will follow the instructions to add a local printer. And now this part is what messes me up because I had selected the wrong printer port. And as a result, it took me a while before I figure out that, um, figure out why my make the cut wasn't cutting to the silhouette. I had to choose a USB port. There are two listed here. So in case one more than one shows up um, at your in your computer, if one doesn't work, um, come back and select the other. So I'm just gonna follow along and select this GraphTech CC330L and add this driver. Well, it says copy one because I actually already um, added this before, but I'm just going through the motion again to show you how it should be done. So ignore the part that says copy one. It should not be copy one. Okay. I had set it as the default. So now I'm ready to start on my project in make the cut. I will um, click on SVG to import a lettering deluxe SVG. And for the test cut, I will cut out well, this pattern, so I really don't need this part. Now, if I'm ready with my design, if I'm ready to cut it, I will go to File, Print, and well, it's not, and select the Graph Text CC three three zero L. Before I click OK, I need to go into Properties, check Use Carrier Sheet, and uncheck Eject Medium and uncheck prevent overruns. Then I will uh, make sure that it says um, landscape and not portrait. Go up to the tab that says cut line settings and change the color of the cut line to black. Right now it is gray. You need to click on modify color. Select this box over here and click OK. And now the cut line is in black color. I will click OK. And now I'm actually ready to, to cut. Once I click OK, it, it, will, it will cut. So basically, that's it. Now if you want to see how this cutout looks like, when it is cut through the silhouette and then um, compare it to the same design cut out from the Cricut expression. Just go over to my blog at undercherrytree.com and see for yourself how the cut out, um, how different it looks like. Okay, so I'll see you back on the blog. Bye.